Today we're going to take a look at how we're going to sum values with multiple criteria. But the catch is here that the multiple criteria is from the same column. So for example here, how can we sum profit for both region Asia and Europe? And maybe we have more than two criteria. How can we do this in an easy, dynamic way? Let's take a look. We have this data here for division region app and profit. Now what we want to do is to sum the values based on criteria. A criteria is that the division should be the value in this cell right here, so in this case utility, and we want to sum both region Asia and Europe. Now notice we just have a separate column for region, Asia and Europe are both included in this column. Now, if you're familiar with SummiFest or if you've watched my previous SummiFest video, you know how to do this part easily, right? And we can just do it right here. We start off with SummiFest. The first argument here is the sum range. We want to sum profits. I'm going to select this. Just press Control Shift down to select the whole area. Control Backspace to jump back up. Next is the criteria range. So the range where one of these criteria is sitting on the order doesn't matter. I'm going to start with the division criteria. The range is right here. Control shift down, control backspace. Next is the criteria itself. And that's this. That takes care of our first criteria. We have multiple criteria here. Let's bring in region. The range is right here. And the criteria itself, we're just going to go with Asia for now. Close bracket, press enter. And this is the sum of utility where Asia is the region. So we have one case here and we have another case here. That's giving up my total. We don't have this combination anywhere else in our data set. Okay, so all clear so far. Now what happens when we want multiple criteria from the same column? Well, what I could do is try to expand my range. So instead of just saying G3, let's actually highlight both of these and see what we get. When I press enter, I get two results. And I get this because I have Office 365. If you don't have Office 365, you're going to get an error in this case because the legacy Excel can't show two values in the same cell. But don't worry, there is a way around this. And the way is to wrap this inside the sum function. When I close the bracket here and I press enter and I have Office 365, everything will work. If you don't have Office 365, so if you're using the legacy Excel, instead of pressing enter, press control shift enter. This converts it into an array and then your legacy version can do what Office 365 can do and it will show you the proper result. Now, if you don't like this curly brackets here, if you don't like to press control shift enter, what you could do is to put this inside the sum product function instead. This way you can press enter and it will work in legacy Excel as well as Office 365 versions. So this is the safest approach because it will work on all versions. The good thing about adding a range here is that it's easy to expand it. So let's say I want to add Australia to my list as well. I just have to go and expand this range and press enter and I have Australia in there as well. So if I press Control Z, that's without Australia. This is with Australia. So those are the different ways you can sum values based on multiple criteria from the same column. Now remember, you can combine this with other criteria from different columns as well. I hope you found this video useful. Do give it a like, consider subscribing, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.